So welcome everyone and congratulations. It's so lovely that you've all joined us. Um, from looking at the chat, I think we have babies as young as three weeks old. I just wanted to think a bit about the idea of skin to skin. Skin to skin is something that you could use throughout your baby's life. It's incredibly powerful as a tool to calm babies down. So taking off your baby's vest and holding them against your bare chest, perhaps underneath your t-shirt or taking your top off, not only helps to relax your baby, but it can regulate their temperature and their heart rate and their breathing. And it's really useful for helping with feeding cues. It kicks in baby's instinctive feeding behaviors. Another way that sleep works is by sleep pressure. And this sleep pressure system isn't reliable or predictable just yet. And this works by a baby feeling sleepy after a period of being awake. And as a baby gets older, they can stay awake for longer. But young babies can't recognise what tiredness is and that sleep would relieve that tiredness. So it gets all a bit confusing for them and they don't know what to do. Your baby's first way of communicating. So the more your baby gets the sense that you're trying to understand, that you're trying to help them, the more they will be able to relax. And there is quite a lot of research in when a baby is separated from an adult, their body is telling them that it's a danger, that they are insecure, they can't feed themselves. And their body doesn't know if they are in a secure environment with parents not very far um, from them, or if they are in the middle of the jungle with predators ready to, um, to go after them. So their immediate reaction is that when they can't feel anything warm and secure near them, they will be crying. That's the instinct reaction from their brain. These actions become sleep cues from you to them and be the start of a little routine. However, if you don't use a routine, your baby will develop a pattern of their own as they get older. And lastly, babies need to be calmed down and taken away from stimulation before they're ready to fall asleep. When a baby first starts grumbling, is it better for parents to pick them up immediately to comfort them? Some parents will find that um, actually when they wait a little bit, they will find, for example, their baby might continue to sleep. And some parents will realize that actually grumbling is a sign that it will be very quickly evolving into a really strong cry. So that's how learning about your own baby will help you to know whether it's um, it's time to pick them up or not. How do you know when your baby's ready? Yeah. How, how do you decide where to go head for first? That's a really good question because there's so much to choose from. Some baby classes really are quite overwhelming and a bit too much for new babies. 